Here's an interesting book on quantum field theory and how we're taking point particles and then changing into string integrals. So this is kind of a little bit of string theory. We got quantum mechanics, Schrodinger stuff, Klein-Gordon equations, field theories, spinners, the Dirac propagator, gauge theories. Uh, this is some math. Uh, maybe we can recognize some of this stuff. Perturbation theory, scalar field theory, all right, quantum electrodynamics, functional calculus, Schrodinger equations, more Schrodinger equations, the Yang-Mills, it's gonna be fun. Uh, and then finally, we're getting to maybe the effective action. Ooh, yeah, so this is kind of the, the string situation that we need to get into when we get into classical string theory, gauge covariance, spaces and surfaces, and then we can get into the partition function and the scattering amplitudes and the super strings. Wow, this is some crazy stuff, man. Okay, so let's get started here. So the regular little quantum mechanics that we can recognize here, we should get these little rotations that we can make on the wave function so we could spin it around and stuff, right? And that gives us the Hamiltonian. Now, this somehow gives it some Lagrangian, right, which which uh, is the kinetic energy and the potential energy. And now we can sort of put that all into this little equation here. Uh, so oh, we can take a look at some field theories, propagations of energy here. It's kind of cool. Let's look through this some vacuum expectation values. So this is for the Higgs field, right? And this is when the Higgs field symmetry starts to break and then you start getting particles popping out. So it's kind of cool. Um, let's see. We, uh, destroying, uh, ampl uh, anal uh, annihilating and creating particles comes from these uh, operators. And, and, and um, oh yeah, so now we could switch states around by using these little, these little sort of um, state um, vectors, I suppose. You can see how they're switching the one around in between the different uh, states here. So that's kind of cool. As you can see spin up, spin downs, uh, and it tells you which, which type of particle, if it's electron or neutrino. And then, you know, so this is just simple SU uh, rotations. And we've got some time reversals. I guess, I guess it's from going from negative to positive time. And it seems to be um, how we get antimatter. I think. So that's kind of cool. Uh, there's some really crazy derivations going on here, which might be kind of interesting to follow, but uh, yeah, very nicely put. Um, in out fields, let's see, reduction, spectral densities. Uh, I want you to take a look at functional cast. This is pure math, I suppose. Maybe some symmetries you know, in terms of how these operators sort of can move things around. Uh, more functional stuff. This is just basic calculus, I suppose. Uh, and we can look at some more Schrodinger equation. This is looks some perturbations or something, yeah. And then, and then we're getting into oh, the spinner quantum electrodynamics. So this is about how spinners, the electrons, can sort of switch around. Very difficult math. Um, <laughs> uh, so this is how like electrons become positrons and stuff like that. Masses, projection operators, and it's kind of cool. So, oh, the path integral. So the path integral is really important. We get this Hamiltonian and start integrating things. This gives a whole bunch of cool stuff. And so usually we would want just a single, like a single path integral. So here is some sort of a propagation from there to there. Um, gauge slices, interesting. Configuration slices. I've never really heard of these things before. Uh, Renormalization. Okay, so there's a lot of infinities that appear in the math uh, of these quantum fields, but for some reason they're able to introduce these things called ghost fields, where all of a sudden we can cancel out the infinities that occur. When we're integrating from zero to infinity. Usually that would mean that we're uh, reaching infinity at some point. Um, but uh, yeah, renormalization tactics allow us to 
to not have infinities in the math, so it's kind of interesting. Um, decay amplitudes and stuff. Let's see if we can get towards the interesting things. Ooh, the effective action. So this is sort of how we're translating the path integral into more like a line integral in string theory. So uh, we get sort of bigger, more more broader paths rather than just a thin path. It's sort of a thick path that it's following. That's really the main difference between uh, regular, um, regular. Um, quantum mechanics and then the string theory. It's just like a thicker path that it's following through space-time. All right, let's see if there's any kind of uh, interesting things here. We have gauge fixing, so we kind of have the gauge groups where you can sort of switch between basically the different configurations of a field. Uh, it, it, it produces the same result. Um, so there's many different paths you can take, but you end up getting the same result at the end. It's kind of interesting. Um, Oh, this is some topology, perhaps? This is how we're kind of coming up with, like, closed and open strings? World lines and loops? Oh, my goodness. We got the manifolds, the Riemann surfaces. These are the different types of surfaces we could have. Um, these are, like, the folds and the curves of the surfaces. Um, and... Well... Basically... The string theory is just a slight like extension. It's a wider extension of the regular old path integral and the Lagrangian. So, you know, there's nothing too crazy about it. There's some exercises. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and then we have some really weird stuff in the back here. So I don't know what this Fadiv Popov procedure is. But let's see. So we got some really crazy integrals that we have to solve. Of course, it's like the high, the hardest stuff is just all these integrals that we have to solve. So I'm sure these are different like solutions to different types of integrals, as you can see, higher genus integrals. So like super hard integrals. Oh, the scattering amplitudes, the tachyon tree amplitudes. What the heck? So there's like ways when particles like smack into each other, and you can sort of put together this equation. That, that tells you uh, where where the particles are going to go, um, how much momentum they have, and so we're sort of using the conservation laws to 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 keep them to describe their their scattering movements when they smack into each other. <laughs> um, so yeah, so just some more really complex math. We got some determinants here at the back, uh, some fun stuff. Um, definitely. Uh, very complex and some sort of a some sort of an, uh, a, a courageous experience and definitely um, definitely not easy to learn string theory but this is this is uh, <laughs> wow, the basics of string theory so all matter is made up of really tiny strings we can magnify it and it looks like an extended string. Here's the point. Here's the string. Hmm. Really interesting stuff here. Here's the world line. It's nice when you can see the pictures. Wow, look at that. That's crazy light cone. <laughs> oh my god. If you want a challenge, go ahead and check out this book and see what string theory is all about. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Anyways, this is quantum field theory, point particles and strings. <laughs>